The Basilica of the Sagrada Familia is one of the most symbolic places in Barcelona and of Catholicism in Europe. That's why it was also one of the main targets during the recent attacks in Barcelona. The history behind this iconic church is exciting. The impressive building is still under construction and will not be completed before 2026, 154 years after its inception. While much of the church has been built, many of its towers are still a work in progress. Each one will represent an evangelist or an apostle, with the two largest reserved for the Blessed Mother and Jesus. Jose Maria Terregona, Antoni Gaudi's biographer, says that the architect's idea was to take the altarpieces to the facades to bring Christianity to the street. Las fachadas de la Sagrada Familia, las fachadas the exterior facades of the Sagrada Familia are facing the east, the south and the west. They are three great catechesis with all the figures and expressions. The childhood and the adolescent life of Jesus in the east, where the sun rises. The passion and the death of Jesus in the west, where the sun sets. And the creation and the last judgment in the south, which is where the sun reaches its highest, symbolizing the sun and the light is Christ. Jose Manuel Almusada thinks that Gaudi was not only a genius architect, but a model for Catholics. This is because he lived his faith with great coherence. Y ahí tenemos a Gaudí que hace... Gaudi tenderly makes this sculpture and does it in a way so that Mary presents the child and the father is behind his protection. There are concrete details that can help people experience the journey of mercy in a real and close way. Japanese sculptor Atsuro Soto visited Barcelona in the late 70s. He was enthusiastic about the project and now he works there to continue Gaudi's work. ¿Para qué construimos templo de Sagrada Familia? Why are we constructing the Sagrada Familia? It's a simple question. Why do we build it? We don't seek the arrogant beauty of man, no. The Sagrada Familia is a tool to help build us. In 2010, Benedict XVI consecrated the Basilica. He was shocked at how Gaudi united architecture and theology at a time when man intends to build his life with his back to God. The Sagrada Familia is in any case a reference for architects and a place of inspiration for the 4.5 million people who visit this masterpiece of our time each year.